Hi, I'm Ruth from For Real Serial, and this is the 12 days of Kill Monday. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> This 12 part video series is supposed to be uh, a funny play on the 12 days of Christmas. So hopefully there will be 12 videos. If not, there will be 12 posts somewhere as well. And the first video is... A partridge stuffed with strychnine. Picture the scene. <sighs> Lightning crackles. Hubert George Hugh Shevis was a lieutenant in the Royal Artillery. It was the 20th of June, 1931. The couple had had friends over for drinks in their bungalow. After their friends left, the Chevises decided that they were going to have an early dinner. It was served on a sideboard and then onto Chevises' plate. Chevis took two full bites of the partridge before he exclaimed, Take this bird away! This is the most terrible thing I have tasted! Mrs. Chevis, his wife, then took a taste of the partridge and agreed. The cook then took the partridge and incinerated it. That's evidence tampering. Not long after the meal, Chevis took to his bed and started experiencing convulsions, vomiting, all of the things you associate with being poisoned. And not very many hours afterwards, he passed away that evening. His wife, however, made a full recovery and uh, it's just because she had a taste. <laughs> now, in and of itself, it's a pretty suspicious death, if we're being honest. Obviously, Hugh Chevis did not intentionally poison himself. It wasn't just a dodgy partridge that had been left down the back of the pantry or anything like that. It, it was found with two grains of strychnine in his stomach. Now. Surely this should be the end of the story. It's a cold case, you know, nobody quite got to the bottom of it. But wait, there's more. After the announcement of his death and of his funeral, uh, Chevis' father received a telegram, an intriguing telegram. It was signed by a J. Hardigan and said, Hooray, hooray, hooray. On the back of the telegram was written a well-known Irish hotel in the area from Dublin called Hibernian. This obviously was a lead for the detectives and the investigators who were treating this very much as a suspicious death. They booked it on over to Dublin and immediately got investigating. They found that a local Dublin chemist had in fact sold strychnine four weeks earlier. <laughs> The curious and mysterious telegram sent to Chevis's father on his son's funeral day was published in a local newspaper, at which point the mysterious Jay Hartigan got in contact again. This time, all he had to say was, Dear sir, why did you publish a picture of the hooray telegram? And that's my terrible Irish accent of the week. <laughs> Chevis's father received a month later another telegram from the mysterious Jay Hartigan. It simply said, it is a mystery we will never solve. You don't get the terrible Irish accent again. So even to this day, even in the modern day, it's still considered a mysterious death. They never actually got to the bottom of it. But there were a couple of suspects that everybody kind of suspected all along. Suspect one. His wife. Apart from having access to the kitchen and having access to the person that was going to prepare the partridge, it's entirely plausible that Mrs. Chevis was able to get into the kitchen to shove those two bits of strychnine into it just to really suck it to her husband. Now, opportunity does not motive make. So, what's her motive? Maybe he was a bit of a dickhead. There is one thing which indicates that Mrs. Chevis was, in fact, the horrific murderer. A month prior to Hubert's death, she had her will changed. And even more concerning is that any copy of the pre-amended will no longer exists. They, they didn't exist then, they were destroyed, presumably. Rumours apparently abounded as well that Mrs. Chevis was carrying on uh, with some of the other workers in the area, like the chauffeur. It's a bit about driving, obviously. The other suspect, obviously, 
Mrs. Yeomans. Now, now, she had a good job, but unfortunately we have absolutely no accounts from her whatsoever of what actually happened, of how good her employer was, nothing. So I, it's kind of like a Cluedo thing, like this is Mrs. White, we could just rule her out. She did not use the strict nine in the pheasant in the dining room. Suspect three, Jane Hartigan. Sorry to keep you all in suspense. Unfortunately, nobody knows who Jay Hartigan is either. This is why it is considered a pretty big mystery. So that's our first day of the 12 days of Kilmus. <laughs> Kilmus. Trying to get it right. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Obviously, if you like this video, there hopefully will be 11 more to come. So stick around and it won't happen. Also, it's Christmas. So that means Christmas cards. I sell very specific Christmas cards to do with serial killers and true crime. If you are interested, please visit the link in the comment or link description. Oh, I'm not good at this. Hope you guys have a Merry Kilmas. I mean Christmas. I mean Kilmas.